Hey guys! You probably saw in the last video that I updated my HTC One M8 to Lollipop. Finally! Well, after all my experience with Android through the years, I must say one thing about Lollipop. Android Lollipop sucks. Yeah, I know that might sound strange, but this is it. Um, basically, since you update to Lollipop, obviously I lost my root. That was obvious. But the thing is that currently it's uh, pretty hard to find the root option. And uh, without root, we were promised to be able to access and write to our SD cards. As you know, HTC One M8 has an external SD card that you can pop in and use external storage. So basically, this is not particularly correct. The thing is that each app that uh, was updated, uh, obviously by its developer, to work on Lollipop, uh, can create a specific folder on... Uh, oh, yeah, notifications specific folder on uh, the external SD card and access and write only to it. It cannot... For example, let me give you a live example on my phone, what I need root for. I use BitTorrent Sync. Now, BitTorrent Sync uh, can sync your files through your computers, many computers and phones. So basically I use it to sync my photos and music mostly. So, uh, it cannot access my music folder and write to it. It can obviously access it to read it, but it cannot write to it. So, basically, if I download a new uh, mp3 file, any song or whatever, on my computer, it won't be able to sync to my phone with uh, BitTorrent Sync. So, that's not what I wanted. Now, after upgrading, one thing I want to note is, uh, at first, it will work very, very slow. Basically, that's uh, probably because uh, Android Lollipop moves everything to Art instead of Dalvik Cache. It works on a different way due to some Java licensing and stuff like that. Um, doesn't matter right now. So, basically, uh, that's the thing. And I'm going to show you now how to quickly fix Thing. Basically, I'm going to root my Android Lollipop. Yeah, stock, stock kernel, stock Android. I'm going to show you how to root it and fix the permissions to the external SD card. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is quickly uh, flash the TWRP recovery and flash two files. One is for root and the other gives the permissions for the external SD card. I'll give the links to those files in the description of the video. I'm not going to explain how to flash the recovery and things like that. I already done those videos. You can watch them uh, otherwise. Anyway, um, I'll do it pretty quickly. This is a um, root uh, checker, basic. Uh, you just click verify root to verify, as, as you can see, sorry root access is not properly installed on this device. Basically, it's not installed at all um, after uh, it was uh, upgraded. Anyway, uh, let me go for a moment now. I'm sorry, but I have to hide my password. Sorry. Um, so basically, I'm not going, as I said, I'm not going to show you it fully, but basically you need to uh, reboot your device into fastboot. So just restart your uh, device and whenever you see the black screen for a moment, uh, pr press and hold the volume down key. Um, okay, so it seems I'm, I am explaining part of the things that I didn't want to explain, but well, whatever. So it might take a few moments since after the upgrade, uh, as I said, uh, lollipop. Okay, here it is. So I'm holding the volume down key. And here it is, the, it enters the H boot. You have to press down the power and you go to fast boot. Now, basically, uh, I already prepared the command on my computer so it mm, should be pretty fast. Uh, this is fast boot uh, space flash space recovery splash the sla space, sorry, <laughs> the name file of your TWRP uh, recovery file. So just hit enter. A um, few seconds and it will be on our device. That's it. Um, basically, I can already unplug the device. Um, I will hit again the power key to go back to H boot. 
um, down key volume to go to recovery again power and basically now all is left is to flash the two files uh, now one of the files uh, will give you root this will probably work on any lollipop device and it might work on older devices as well I'm not really sure uh, anyway go to install you find your files I have to find them since I don't really remember where did I put them probably on the external yeah here they are so basically you need two files the update super su 2.45 and the HTC M8 SD fix. Now, basically, the HTC uh, SD M8 SD fix, sorry, um, is actually a specific uh, permissions file that uh, just gives you the permissions. So I think it might work on any other device as well, but I'm not fully sure. So please be careful if you try it. Seriously, I'm not responsible for whatever damage it can cause. Um, again, I must uh, say one thing, uh, Google isn't doing uh, all those security things uh, just because they want to, uh, it's actually to properly secure us. Um, now let's wait for the device to reboot, let's lock my computer so it won't disturb the keyboard. Um, basically, Android, Google does uh, all those security things uh, to secure the SD card more and more as it can. Um, so basically what we are doing by giving all those permissions so any app can write to SD is actually not that good for security reasons. But uh, obviously in my case I need it. It would be probably even better if uh, Google would give us an option to, for example, that I could go to BitTorrent Sync and change its permissions give uh, the permissions uh, to write to a specific uh, folder on my SD card. For example, give the permissions to music. Maybe if I would be able to do it manually, it would be actually great. At least for me, as uh, I like to do stuff like that. Now, uh, for some reason, uh, it's uh, going through optimization for some apps. I probably didn't finish on the last boot. Uh, another thing uh, that happened uh, particularly to me after upgrading to Lollipop is uh, Wi-Fi doesn't work. Uh, I found that uh, I can quickly fix it by erasing the data partition, which I'll do later. Basically everything is backed up, so I'll be able to restore my data uh, pretty quickly. And it should be work fine. Uh, another thing to mention is that currently, to this date, 7th of February 2015, exposed doesn't work on Lollipop, which means that all the pretty cool things that you can do with Exposed, you won't be able to do here. Um, so basically, uh, Android will boot and then I'll show you that it does have root. And I'll try to show you quickly that uh, you can write to the external SD. So now that the device is fully booted up, we can go again to... Um, First of all, you can see the super swap here. Uh, so we will go to root checker basic again, uh, verify, and it should pop up a window. Here it is. You just grant it. Uh, this is the root permissions. And here it is verification, root access, and installation on the device. So great, we have root. Uh, now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that we can go to ES File Explorer, for example. We can go to our external. SD card. Now it didn't fully boot yet, uh, so it might take time. Anyway, you just can create a new file or folder. Let's create a file. Give it uh, since I have already a file there. Uh, I don't know, just a random name. Okay, and here it is. Uh, no, uh, any workaround needed, uh, as you probably know. Uh, EX uh, file explorer can, uh, ES file explorer can. Uh, uh, use a workaround to give you the option to write to SD card, but that's it now. No workaround is needed uh, BitTorrent sync will work fine as well. So that's it guys all the links will be in the description below Like the video if you liked it uh, thumbs up it uh, thumbs down if you didn't like uh, Comment if uh, you want to ask me for any question or anything you can send me an email uh, The email will be in the description as well uh, and that's it, 
So, see ya next time. Bye, guys. If you are into video games, I invite you to watch my friend's That Foreign Guy channel. He reviews the newest and coolest games, and his videos are totally awesome.